All right, y'all. How y'all doing? Uh, this is like literally my first video that I'm gonna do uh, for YouTube. Um, I get a lot of recommendations throughout, I guess, work. Um, just basically my daily life, I guess, uh, to do something like this. Um, so I figured since this would be the appropriate time, actually, uh, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Showstoppers USA. Um, I purchased a um, deep dish steering wheel. I actually got the pads from um, Amazon to match the steering wheel. I got the quick release here, which I'll show in a second, and the hub, oh, um, and uh, the bumper release. Uh, so I got these through Showstoppers and this Um What inspired me to get a serum room in the first place? Well, I got tired of messing around with the controls that weren't working. Um, the only control that actually worked was the cruise control, and I only found that out like yesterday. I'll actually show my um, vehicle later. It's kind of like a little surprise. I mean, um, without further ado, let's get right into the review. So first, we're gonna start with the hub. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Energy everything. Cause all we do is energy mean. Is it energy or energy? Cause it could easily be energy. So anyways. So that's that. Um, it comes with of course the cup. Awesome little plastic thing. Little wires. Stickers. I have I'm gonna I assume that I'm gonna get about a thousand of these throughout the entire review. We'll count them as we go, right? That's one. Uh, of course, and then it comes with the converter chart for any other additional uh, vehicles in which you want to get hubs for. It has all these part numbers here in vehicles. I don't know if you can see that. Zoom in. Yeah, okay, cool. Work. And that's that. So, let's put that back together. I'm going to do the installation process. It's going to take me a while, but I mean, this is kind of like a review slash kind of date kind of thing. Kind of unique, I guess. So I'm not really gonna get into all that car stuff or installation stuff right now. Um, so next we're gonna get into the quick release here. Um, this is gonna be the energy. I'm gonna say energy and energy for now because it sounds so much sicker. Um, this is the energy 3.0 quick release that I have here. I think it's gonna be in the neochrome. I'm gonna take it out. There. Bubble wrap. Freaking sick. Yeah. This is sick stuff, man. This is actually my first steering wheel, so yeah. Um, this is gonna be pretty dope for a first steering wheel. Got the uh, airbag thing and the horn. Uh, wire. Um, I'm gonna leave that right there so you can drool over it like I am right now. <coughs> Got the Allen key. More stuff that I'm going to need. Okay. <laughs> Another converter sheet, just like the last. And a disclaimer for energy saying that if you fuck up on the top of the road, and if you end up in a tree somewhere, they're not held accountable. Make sure y'all know. <laughs> yeah. Unlike my, unlike me, um, Bay is actually keeping count. So this is number two. I don't even know where the other one went. I think it's back in the box. I'm gonna cut that out anyway. So, yeah, so put that back in here. Yeah, don't throw that back in there. I want to lick it, but, you know. Yeah, that's <clears throat> As before, a little bit about me. I guess we can go into details, I guess. Um, I'm a post sneakerhead. <laughs> I used to collect shoes a lot, but then I realized that it's all going to really be released again, so the value is just depreciating, depreciating over and over again, so I'm not really into that kind of stuff um, anymore. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to like, you know, uh, downplay the sneaker game. Um, I um, condone and those who actually love it for what it is and not just for the hype, uh, but <clears throat> as for me, spending 
nearly spending racks every month on some shoes. I only have two feet. Thank you, God, for blessing me. Um, yeah, I only have two feet, so, I mean, throughout the entire day, I'm not going to go home and then, you know, change shoes and then come back outside and say, yo, I got these two, but that's dead. But <clears throat> that's not the moral of what the Steve game is about. But anyways, um, pedals. I do have an automatic, as a lot of haters will say, the auto tragic. Uh, <laughs> back <clears throat> and this is actually I think I believe I once believed this is a like, the universal pedal so it comes with a little looks that's gonna come on the back here that's for a demonstration the screw come on there come on <clears throat> so the screw's gonna go in here it's gonna go like just like this and it's actually gonna hug the pedal um but I actually haven't actually t uh, did a fitment or a test on my actual pedal, so I don't know if this is actually going to require drilling. But we'll see. I may make, depending on what y'all say, I could do a review on that or I could do a, like an installation video, depending on how fast y'all comment on this. Because um, I may just do it, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's that. Why Neochrome? Because it's freaking dope. I mean, I could have went with chrome to match my car. Hint, hint, my car is silver. But the inside is black, silver, gray. That's pretty much it. So I wanted kind of a pop to it. Um, yeah, so. And last but not least, this here. Now, how long did all of this take to ship here? Well, Let's. Oh shit. Um. Let's see. I ordered. I placed an order on Friday the thirteenth. Today is the twenty seventh. Yeah. So. Neochrome again. So I'm gonna actually. Maybe I should get like some keys or a wrap or. I'm actually in my office room right now, so I'm probably gonna get a little. Ooh. So I'm using the little blade. My brother actually uses this for um, building gunpla. And for those who don't know what gunpla is, it's basically Gundam model. Um, so hopefully he'll be starting his channel, doing that stuff and talking about that stuff very soon. I'm kind of urging him to do it, but you know, just like how I am nervous as hell. I'm just like not really. Kind of. Okay, yes, I am. Um, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Here's the steering wheel. Got the speckles all around, front and back. Um, neochrome, like I said, energy in the, in the middle. I don't know if y'all can get a good glimpse of the speckles. Can we see the speckles? Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Lightweight. Got the wires on the back here. Maybe I should put this down before I cut somebody. I eat myself. That's the only song that was playing throughout my mind when I was waiting on the steering wheel. I know that sounds like lame, but I was literally like on the edge of my bed, like literally pacing back and forth all day and night long. And yeah, it's just, oof. I don't know how I did it y'all, but I did and you can do it too. Let's go back here. We got the hand ridges for rip in the event that your hands are saucy <laughs> and uh, you just can't get in the grip. <laughs> so, sorry guys. Sorry, guys. Bada bang. Um, so, what I'm going to do for y'all is actually everything. On the counter or on the floor. 
So I'm gonna get a blend. So the setup that I'm trying to do, I'm trying to go with the galaxy look. To be honest, in my interior here, just to give it a little pop. Not too much, you know. I don't want people thinking I'm crazy or something. And yeah, this. All right, guys. Uh, this is what the steering wheel actually looks like on the hub here, or the car. Um, <clears throat> give you all a quick overview, and I did get the pedals on. Match the uh, steering wheel here. Um, so for an overview, detailed review, I didn't really go into details um, when I was doing the overview of the setup, but um, I wanted to actually get hands on experience of putting it all together before I actually give you all a review. Um, I've actually driven with the steering wheel on for about. Anyways. Um, I actually driven with the steering wheel on for about mm, four days. What's today? Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today's Monday now. Um, it feels really good. No regrets here. Um, so let's get into the details. Now I do have the Energy 3.0 quick release. Um, I, was, I probably won't be able to do it with my both hands unless I put the phone down. I'm recording this with my phone. Sorry guys. Um, what else? Uh, so yeah. Um, only the pros and cons, I guess. So I guess I guess I can do a pros and cons list. The only really cons that I have, I'll go with the cons first. Is there's a little glue showing here um, on that's on the edges here of what the uh, this the metal portion of the steering wheel connects to the wood. And yes, this is wood. Uh, it's it's uh, as for the deep dish, uh, how deep is it? It's the three fifty millimeter street dish energy logo um as for the time of installation it did take me <laughs> about like an hour or two um this was my first time like i said um prior to me, me making this video this second part of the video or second um uh what else well, i guess i'll try and take it off so hold on guys so i actually had to pre-pull the um, handles here so I can take it off for y'all that's the hub here energy code yes. on to my hub here Give a good overview. Um, and again we'll, I will get into the, pr the pros in a second but um, one thing that I did have an issue with as well um, with taking it off with taking my steering wheel off altogether is the fact that the this um, what you want to call it? There's a nub here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this nub right here was not properly, I guess I want to say ground, grinded, grounded, grinded. So what you have here is the actual um, quick release here, this portion here, grinding against the button. Um, I guess it's just a, on how, I just have to figure out how to, I guess, um, sorry, it's a little windy. Y'all can't hear me, but, um, that would be that was the, what was the main issue that I was having, but everything else is fine. It's, I can live with glue, and um, also there are grooves here. Like I said, it wasn't properly grinded around the bearings. This bearing, I guess, this what we call a bearing here. This little bearing. Here. Um, you can see that. I put some shade so you can see it. But um, overall, I'd give this a, if I had to give it out a, a review out of 5 or 10, I'd give it a 4.8, 4.9 out of 5, and a 9.9 .9 out of 10, with those minimal flaws. Nothing is perfect, neither am I, neither are you. I'm just playing. Love y'all. But um, as for, snaps right back in, and that's that. Um, yeah, so like I said, if y'all would like to see any more detailed reviews, uh, like this one, um, I know I'm not the best at doing reviews considering that I'm pretty new to this, but um, yeah, so, so block, no, I'm just like, <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> How could I ever forget doing the pros? Jeez, I just went straight to the cons. Sorry, I, I'm gonna get into the habit of doing this. Um, it's so awesome. Um, with the original steering wheel that I had in this vehicle, uh, well, that comes with the vehicle, I had a problem with the simple fact that it wasn't um, really leveled. I have pretty long arms. So I was pretty much reaching all the way over here, even when I would pull it, pull the entire um, steering column. I was still, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's actually moving back and forth in the Accord um, 2003. Um, even with it pulled all the way, the steering, the original steering wheel would like come about here to, the, to this right here. And it would pretty much put a strain on my arm because I, I drive like this. I don't know how y'all drive, but I drive like this with my elbow here. Uh, I'm a little ashy. Uh, my elbow here and my hand resting here. I'm not this guy. This guy, this guy, I, I know a couple people see I see on the road driving like this and giving me a thumbs up from time to time, just driving like this. I don't know how people do it. And then some people maybe, I don't know. I know um, some people drive like this, even on straight lines. Usually people, I was, you know, maybe put my hand here from turning or something like that, but I don't, I don't know how people do that. But anyways, um, so with that being said, uh, this, because of the, the, I guess the dome extension, you want to call it? It's pretty leveled. Um, I'm actually able to lay back even farther <laughs> in my car. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I can, I guess I can get out the car and show y'all how um, level it is that I'm, how far back I'm actually laying back here. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm literally, I'm literally like chilling right now while I'm driving. It's awesome. I can reach the entire steering wheel without actually moving my whole entire arm. So that's the best pro um, that I have for that. It's just comfort. I'm a very, very uh, comfort-driven person. <laughs> no pen intended, y'all. <laughs> <clears throat> but um, so I have long legs, long arms. Um, another pro uh, is just being able to um, have something different, I guess. Is that a pro? Uh, y'all let me know in the description below to... Let me know whether having something awesome is, you know, awesome to give your car a little pop. As you can see, it's really boring and bland to me in my car right now. Just leather seats, silver accents. Um, yeah. So this is definitely a pop for me. Um, I get. I already gotten a couple of compliments on it. I pull through, the drive through all the time. They're like, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!" It's a crazy steering wheel, but I mean, like I said, um, well, I didn't say this, but um, I'm not. I mean, once you do things for yourself, um, you know, and you have people complimenting the fact that you know you went out of your way and do something awesome uh, for yourself, and not just for impressing people. There's nothing more rewarding than that. Um, I didn't ask for advice or you know people uh, people's uh, uh, opinions about what it is to do because this is pretty flashy for a car, any car, and, um, um, yeah, I just said, fuck it, why not, Neo Pro with the fucking Honda Accord, this is the O3, by the way, um, I'll, if y'all, um, if I get enough, I guess, likes or feedback, I'll do an overview of my entire car, from the outside all the way to the inside, but for right now, I'm just gonna do the steering wheel and pros and cons, so, um, let me know what y'all think, anyways, um, uh, another pro, just being able to, of course, take off the steering wheel. I mean, the quick release is needed for those who don't know. You don't really need this column here. This here, the, neo the additional neochrome here. This is actually a separate piece to call the quick release um, for those who don't know. And then there's the hub here. So you can actually attach the steering wheel to the hub here. Energy. And without the quick release, so that'll actually save you some money. Um, definitely save you some money. Uh, if you don't really care to pop off the steering wheel, if you're not really into that stuff, but I am, so <clears throat> I went the extra mile to do so. Um, yeah, so like I said uh, earlier, I, I say that a lot, sorry guys, like I said, <laughs> um, let me know, uh, uh, just drop a like, comment, whatever y'all, whatever it is y'all would like to see, um, and uh, share the video. And don't be shy to do anything out of the norm. It's not considered ricey if you, you know, just 
you, if you love it, you love it. Fuck it. Right? Peace.